A brain-altering parasite makes infected people more attractive to others? That in a report and study finds we just report them. We don't do them. A sexually transmitted parasite that up to 50% of the population carries may actually make people look more attractive to the opposite sex. Okay. Put your own joke in there. Put it in the comments. I had a few written. All of them would have gotten me in trouble. Researchers in Finland say Toxoplasma gondii may be responsible for a number of different neurological disorders, including schizophrenia and psychotic episodes. However, its strangest effect may be altering the way others view people carrying the infection. Study authors found that both men and women infected with T. gondii were rated as being more attractive and healthier looking than uninfected individuals. This symbiotic relationship would help the parasite spread through carriers having more sex. Stick with me here. This gets even more strange. The parasite may actually change how your face looks. You are looking at composite images of 10 toxoplasma infected women and 10 toxoplasma infected men on the left, and composite images of 10 non infected women and 10 non infected men on the right. You be the judge. I'm not going to take any shots here. Studies suggest the parasite leads to higher testosterone levels in men, and others suspect that the parasite manipulates chemicals in a host's body, including neurotransmitters and hormones. In an experiment including 35 college students, 22 men and 13 women infected with T. Gandhi, and 178 students not carrying the parasite, researchers looked at how symmetrical their facial features were. Results show that toxoplasma-infected participants had lower levels of fluctuating asymmetry than healthy college students. Additionally, young women carrying the parasite had lower body mass index than their peers. These women also rated themselves as more attractive and reported that they had more sexual partners. Okay, I'm not saying anything there either. All kinds of things to get me in trouble in this story. You did this on purpose. Okay. Sure hope this wasn't a bunch of researchers wanting to ask college kids personal questions. I kid, they wouldn't do that. The study authors conclude this strange connection could have its roots in evolution, theorizing that changes which benefit the host, animal or human, also benefit the parasite. This symbiotic relationship would help the parasite spread through carriers having more sex. Okay, that was a weird one. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking in the link in the description below, which will take you right to the story at studyfinds.com.